Hello friends. So once again, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we'll see another example of uh, for performing multiplication on sign integers. So suppose I am doing taking both the numbers as negative. Minus 15 into minus 5. Let's say I want to perform. Minus 15 into minus 5. So see, what is 15? All 1, 1, 0. Then minus 15 will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right? Then what is 5? 5 is your 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Actually, 5 is 1, 0, 1. Sign bit will be 0. But I need to represent it using 5 bits. So another 0 we have taken here. Then what is minus 5? Take the 2's complement of this part. Right? Take the 2's complement of this. So 1 will be there. Then all the bits will be flipped. So it is negative 5. Because we require minus 5 as my multiplier. Right? So here is my multiplier in Q. A register will have 5 zeros. Then to the right of my LSB in multiplier, 1 0 is assumed. And what is multiplicand? Minus 15. So minus 15 is here. Right? So this I have written here minus 15. Right? So initially, this is my setting and my count value will be 5. Right? Next, what I will do? I will do the operations. So now see, this is 0 to 1. I need to see the Q minus 1, Q 0. Q0 is 1, Q minus 1 is 0. How do I see? I see like this. That means Q minus 1 and Q0. I see this. So 0 to 1, that means what? It is a subtraction operation, right? So I'll perform subtraction A minus M. That is what? Adding the 2's complement of M to A, right? So what is 2's complement of M? M is this one. 2's complement of M is positive 15. So add positive 15, right? So with 0, if you add something, that will be that something only. Then Q and Q bar is minus 1 is again written here. One part is done. After that, what we will do? We will perform the arithmetic shift right. So if I perform arithmetic shift right, the 0 will be preserved. Then this 0 will come over here also. 1, 1, 1. This 1 will come here. So 3, 1, 0, 1. And here this 1 will come. Right. So that only I have done. See, double zero, triple one. ASHR, hope you remember. I am doing it from the previous example. Then before that also I have shown you. Then this one is triple one. This one is coming from here. This one will go here. So this is after arithmetic shift, right? So both the operation in a cycle is done. So now the count will be decremented. So count will now become four. This part is clear. Now we'll start. So where this is one, this is one. If two consecutive bits are same, do I need to perform addition subtraction? No. So what I will do? I will simply uh, just copy the values of A, Q and Q minus 1. That I will do. After that, see, this is done. And then what I will do? I will perform arithmetic shift right, right? So if I perform arithmetic shift right, then see, it is arithmetic shift right. So what it will become? Triple zero double one. And this one will come here. So it will become 410. And this one will come here. So see. Triple one double zero. Here it will be 410. And this one will come here. Right? After arithmetic shift right. And one cycle is over. So count will be decremented. So now count value is what? 3. Done. Now again we will repeat. Till count is not 0. We will be repeating the process. So 1 to 0. 1 to 0 means positive side. Addition. So, A plus M. A plus M means what? What is your M? Your M is this one. You directly add this. Be careful while doing it. Do not add the two's complement here. Because these are small, small mistakes people used to do. So, this is my right now A. What is that? Triple zero double one. And what is my M? M is minus 15. What is that? One. Then zero, 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 one. If I'll add, what it will become? 0, 1 carry. So it is also 0. This is 1. This is 0. This is 1. So 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. See, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. This has to be correct. Otherwise, our next steps will be wrong. Then whatever is your Q content, that I will again write here. So we have written here. And then this part is over. Next, what I will do? Arithmetic shift right. So arithmetic shift right will preserve the sign bit. So it will be double one here it what it will be double one zero one zero and this zero will come here so zero four ones and this zero will come here so 
after the fourth uh, this one uh, this zero will come here one particular cycle is over so will the count will be decremented count has become two still it is not zero so we need to continue so right now count is two then next we'll see see here here this time it is zero and this is one right, right now probably now you are getting it uh, quickly zero to one so what i will do i'll be doing the adding the two's complement of m with a because zero to one means what subtraction operation right it is a subtraction operation so what is that operation i will do double one zero one zero with this i need to add the two's complement of my multiplicand what is that positive 15 zero four ones are there i need to add so what it will become this is one this is zero this will be again zero three per three ones are there na? so here see zero zero then three one means one this one will also come so here it is zero and one carry will be there that carry we will discuss because already i was telling you number of times in two's complement arithmetic whenever there is a carry out of msb we used to discard so see this one this brown color one will be discarded and what is my result zero one double zero one this is see my result so this is done then i will write q i will write q minus one and what i have performed a minus m then what i will do then i'll perform arithmetic shift right so what it will become double zero one zero zero this one will come here so one zero three ones and this one will come here so it will be this one what i perform arithmetic shift right my count will be decremented now so what the count will become now the count will become what one still it is not zero so i have to do one more step let's do it hope this part is now becoming much more clear so see right now whatever values are there that i have written right so see here it is one as well as here also it is one so one and one means what i need not have to perform any addition subtraction so this i am writing see i am showing you this step but during exam time if you are not getting you need not have to show this line simply perform your arithmetic shift right see in my previous uh, this one also wherever no addition subtraction is there you need not have to do this line simply perform this one that is also 100 percent okay so see right now these are the values no addition subtraction what i will do and next i will do arithmetic shift right so what is the result triple triple zero see triple zero one zero this zero will come here so zero one zero double one this one will come here right so this step is over my count value is what now my count value is now zero so i now stop right now i have to stop count value is zero where is my result my result is here only please do not take this bit as part of your result so what is my result three zeros one zero zero one zero double one so see here see here the result is positive because it is zero and i know when i multiply this i'll definitely going to get a positive result what is that result let's see so this is positive so now please do not take the two's complement positive means write the decimal of your binary that you have obtained so what is this this is one this is two 4, this is 8, 16, 32, 64. So 64 plus 8 is what? 72. 72 plus 3 is what? 75. So my result is what? Positive 75. I need not have to write the sign because whenever I am not writing the sign, that means what? It is a positive number. And I know minus 15 into minus 5 is 75. So as already we know the answer, so we can verify it whether we have reached at a correct step or not right please remember while doing the numericals see what you need to do is see here every time you see this part properly you are doing addition addition means directly take your multiplicand multiplicand i have written here and whenever you are doing subtraction take the two's complement of your multiplicand that part has to be very very clear because sometimes we know the answer but we are not arriving at the answer then we need to see where we are doing the mistake so you need to do all the steps carefully and definitely you will come out with your correct result so this much is there in the booth selgo part and in the next video we will see how to improve the booth selgo there we are going to do 
bit pair recording of my multipliers, what it is and why I am doing it, that I will discuss in my next video. Till then, thank you. And if you are getting from my explanations, then please do not forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.